Welcome back to Daybreak. It is 7.37. Thanks for staying with us here on the show. Have you been suffering from pain in your knees? It may actually be a problem with another part of your body. And physiotherapist Christine Gibbs tells us more. Plus, she shows us an exercise that will help us keep that pain away. Good morning. I'm Christine Gibbs from Estephead Physiotherapy in Governor Square. Thank you for joining me for another segment of Staying a Step Ahead. This month, I'd like to discuss knee pain. It is one of the most common reasons I see patients coming into the clinic. Sometimes it's due to trauma, such as a car accident or a fall, or maybe an accident on the rugby pitch. The most confusing, and what I'd like to discuss today, is the knee pain that comes on gradually for no apparent reason. Knee pain is rarely the knee's fault. It is usually brought on by some sort of dysfunction of the hips or the feet, and the knee is caught in the middle. Knee pain that is brought on gradually in the absence of trauma is usually due to overuse. This is when the body does not have enough time to recover between bouts of exercise. Essentially, the breakdown that occurs during physical activity is an excess of the body's ability to rebuild. I'd like to first talk about your hips. Hip strength is essential in knee stability. Every time you walk or run or plant your foot to kick a ball, you need your hip, knee, and foot in alignment. If your hips are not strong, your knee is going to collapse in. I'm going to exaggerate so that you can see, but look at what happens if this is not strong and your knee collapses in every time you land on your foot. In essence, if every time you collapse inwards, your knee is doing this. Can you see how all the tension here and the compression on the outside, in addition to your femur rotating underneath, can cause pain under the kneecap, on the inside of your knee, and the outside of your knee? There are many very good ways to strengthen your outer hip and glute muscles. My favorites are lying on the floor while watching TV. So, throw your yoga mat down, bring your top leg up, and bring it back behind you. Do not roll backwards, keep your top hip on top of bottom hip, and bring back, really squeezing your glutes. Second one, bring your leg forward, rotate your toes upwards, circles, big and small, frontwards and backwards, really emphasizing your glutes and outer hip. Last one, hips and ankles together, bend your knees, it's called the clam. Opening up your knees, looking like a clamshell, and really feeling your hips and glutes burn. If you prefer standing exercises, or wanna try these at work, stand up, hold on to something so you can lean backwards, and squat down, really focusing on your glutes and hips. Squat down, do not let your knees go over your toes, and don't let your thighs go beyond, beyond parallel. The other main cause of knee pain is your feet. If you have excess motion in your feet, it's the same thing as the hip. It's not stabilizing your knee joint. So if you're rolling in too much, you get excess motion in your knee. The best thing to help your foot mechanics is a good supportive shoe, a running shoe, athletic shoe, something with a good arch support. Sometimes people might need a custom-made shoe insert called an orthotic. It slides inside your shoe and your foot sits on top of it. It corrects any foot mechanics you might need. Sometimes people are worried about adding a device to their shoe, but I compare it to wearing glasses for your eyes. If your eyes need help, they need a re reading glasses. If your feet need help, you might need a custom orthotic for your feet. The last thing I'd like to discuss today is flexibility. Any muscle that crosses the knee joint, if it's tight or decreased flexibility, is going to compress the knee joint. So I'd like you to stretch your hip flexors, your quads, hamstrings, and your calf, and also your IT band that goes down the outer side of your thigh. And to do that, you get on the floor, put one knee behind, foot out in front. This will target the hip flexor. You lean in, get a really good stretch through your hip flexor, hold for 30 seconds. Then come backwards, keeping your knee slightly bent until you feel a stretch through your hamstring and then you'll get both at the same time. Then, you need to find a step. Come up on the step, put the ball of the foot on, one, on the edge, drop your heel down, get a really good stretch through your calf. Then, to get your IT band through the outer side, you just stick your side out, get a stretch through the outer hip. And the last one I want you to do is your quad. It's your basic grab your ankle, pull the leg behind you. I want to emphasize, this information is based on the assumption that there is no underlying injury. I also realize that many people have predisposing factors such as knock knees or bow legs. Even in light of these predisposing factors, I'm a firm believer that if you strengthen your hips, stretch your muscles, and start your feet out, you can significantly decrease, if not eliminate, your knee pain. Just think how happy you'd be if your knee didn't hurt every time you went downstairs, kicked a football, or chased after your toddler. Thank you for joining me. Tune in next month to continue staying a step ahead.
And if you'd like to get in contact with Christine or the team at a step ahead therapy, physiotherapy rather, you can give them a call at 745-ASAP. Uh, That's 745-2727. You can also send them an email to info at a step ahead physio.com. And they do have a website, www.asteppaheadphysio.com as well. Or you could stop by their offices at Governor Square. And be sure to tune in for next month's Physio Tips. Staying a Step Ahead airs the la every last Wednesday of the month.